what's up guys malik here welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at the trades from july 24 2023 so i made a few trades today today was basically break even i basically traded made some losses the next trades basically just covered me from my losses from the morning and that's basically what happened today today was very range bound so there wasn't a lot to trade you just needed a good entry at like the further end of the range and then you basically trade it to the next end because there was no real breakout you basically made the range on the first two candles of the day after that there was no huge high or new high or no new low so i'll be showing you the trades so the first trade here i had a trade at 815 that's on the 815 candle and that's at 15463 we make this a little smaller 463.3 so this was a trade entered to the buy side the 15463.3 and looking at this we're in the middle of the two zones so the market is just complete indecision it doesn't know where it wants to go whether higher or lower than these zones so entered here 15463 and then i got stopped out on the 12 for on the 945 candle at 15453.7 and i leave that there because i had a few other trades that got knocked out at that same price so i got hit out there for a total loss of 960 the next trade I entered on the 815 candle again, but that was at 15464 flat. 15464. So I entered three buy side trades. So in total, it was a 0 0.3 trade, but then all of it got hit out at the stop loss at the same stop loss. So I entered this one at 15464. For a total loss of 1030. And then the next one I entered at 15464.1 for a loss of 4.30. And this stop loss was, I guess, a little higher at 15459.8. For a total loss of 430 on that trade. And then we hit another trade at 945. So at 945, I'm looking for buys again after this big sell off. So 945, I'm entering at 15, 461.6. And then I got stopped out on the same candle actually at 15434.7 for 434.7 total loss of 2690 and this is where i took the bigger losses of the day and then this is the exact way i made back it at the end of the day so this one i entered at 15465 now 465 then I got stopped out at 15.4347. And then the next one now I entered to the buy side again at 15.463.9. Then I got stopped out at the same place here, 15.434.7 for a total loss of 29.20. And then the next one, I had another buy side trade on the 945 candle, 15404. So this is where I got a nice entry at the bottom there. And then it's looking like I got stopped out or I quickly closed this trade at 15. 15,399 for a total loss of 5.30. So I quickly closed this trade. Looking, it looked like it was going to go against me, so I quickly closed this trade. 
And then we had four winners after that, which was one was on the 10 o'clock candle here. So on the 10 o'clock candle, entered at 15 or 08.3. And then I actually closed this trade at 330. So the trade actually ran for the entire day. Close it a little bit higher. I could have closed with more money, but because I didn't get the breakout, it basically came back down close to break even. And I just took it for a total profit of 14 there. The next one I entered on the 9.45. And that was at 15.403 flat. And then I closed this one manually on the 3.30 candle again at 15.437. Total profit of 34 there. And then I opened another trade on the 9.45 again, 15.400.6. Then I closed it on the 9.30 here at 15.436.7. Total profit of 36.10. And then I had another trade. So all of these trades were made basically on the same candle, except for the last one where I had a smaller position. So I was able to hold that trade a bit little longer, but because I didn't close it at the higher point of the range, I did not capitalize the most on that trade. So this one I entered at 15. 397.5 so that was a great entry and then i closed it at 15 437.5 total profit of 40 on that one so all of these were just me trying to trade a rejection of this range but it just came right back into this zone that we we're playing into and if you were like heavily bullish you would have got cocked here because the market came right back down and basically came to where it opens because this is where let's see where you open 9 30 this is your open so the market basically closed at your open so nothing happened today at all but that's basically it for today you can see there's no reaction from the zone so even then you probably shouldn't have even traded this market because the zones were not tapped so you didn't have any real indicator to get into the market but i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one bye bye